Hey X, Keypad is now VR compatible. Uh, I asked developers if they can make some changes and in two days they have this. You may be wondering why would we need X Keypad in VR. In this aircraft there are a lot of controls that are very hard to get with your VR controller. So you can create shortcuts in this. Let me show you one example. So here you want to change the HSI mode and you, this is very hard to do because it's in the pedestal. But here HSI you can click on this play button and you'll see the HSI mode is changing. HSI set to FMS. Next example is uh, setting lights. So those are a little Taxi bit harder. Taxi lights on. But here you can see the lights are being switched Taxi on. Taxi lights off. off. Taxi lights on. Strobe lights on. Strobe lights off. Landing lights on. Landing lights off. You can even set the transponder. And in VR, it's challenging to twist those knobs. But here you can type it, and this will get transponder set to 1200. And this applies to almost any radio control. There are many expert configuration available in the community site for different aircraft. COM1 set to 12 megahertz. Including Zebo, TBM, just flight aircrafts, etc. Now something even more interesting, you can control that MFT. Radar I'm off. setting the weather mode. Radar off. Radar on. That's pretty neat because that's yet another pain button to press when you're flying in VR. And if you use the FMC that comes with the aircraft, uh, that is very hard to control with VR controllers. But here, their data points you can uh, click and it will change in the FMC. So this product is filling the gap left out by many developers who did not make their aircraft uh, completely VR compatible. So this will help you to fly all those aircraft much easier.